Hey, uh, hello, Mister. Hello, 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 Mister. Hello. Can, can you see? Can you can you hear me? Excuse me. I think I think he's ignoring me, or he can't even see me. Oh, there's one. Hello, uh, sir, uh, Mister. I have a question. So what's your secret was the question I asked different lifters when I started training at 17. Their answer? Well, you need to eat like a pig and do the pro split. That's training each muscle on a separate day like 6 days a week with at least 20 sets per muscle per week. That's what I am doing right now. That was one answer. As you can imagine, this lifter looked pretty advanced and had arms the size of my legs those days. Well, he may have been slightly enhanced too. Then on another day I saw a different lifter. And during the week I didn't see him as often as those gym rats who basically lift in the gym. His training very often was under one hour. So I asked again, what is your secret? You seem to be as advanced as the other guy over there, but your training session is pretty short. It turned out that he trained the HIT high intensity method way inspired by Mike Menzer. Now I was getting pretty confused. What could be the best method then for me? The muscle magazines with pro bodybuilders lying around didn't help either. You could read about so many different techniques and methods that your head began to spin. And most of the methods were backed by anecdotal evidence only. I knew I somewhat had the wrong approach. I tried the high volume training for a while, then I tried the low volume high intensity training for a while, then another, then another and then another. But I did them only briefly. And it seemed as if I only tried the stuff the advanced lifters did in the gym or what I read about in all those muscle magazines. Did those training methods work for me? Maybe a bit. Thanks to being a beginning lifter, it's quite normal that beginning lifters can basically do everything and still make progress because well they are beginners. So instead of fast muscle growth I had fast frustration growth. But for me the grass was always greener on the other side. I jumped from one anecdotal evidence back training method to the next because they supposedly worked. I did this for about 10 years until one day something changed and clicked. At that moment I realized I had it all wrong. I had it wrong because of false assumptions and the wrong approach to training. My assumptions were highly subjective and biased. I thought, well, what works for this guy will work for me too. But I didn't know what those advanced lifters didn't tell me. The use of steroids for once. I also didn't know how many gym rats trained the same way as, the same way as them and didn't get the same results. Finally, the way the two guys trained may not be the same methods they used to get where they were. That's when I knew I had to zoom out, forget everything I thought I knew and focus on my individual conditions. The first thing I had to forget is that somewhere one special training method exists. And once I find it, it will work and bring muscle gains forever and ever. The second thing I had to forget is anecdotal evidence of the various pro lifters. Instead I would need to find an objective and scientific approach. An approach to test my training methods and improve them according to the advances or non-advances I made. This was the moment when I started making real progress and found my own individual approach. I stopped looking for something that allegedly worked instantly and from the get-go and started developing and making it work. Now. I know what you may wonder, what does all this meat face stuff has to do with real estate lead generation? Well basically the same story repeated in my real estate business a few years back. I had a real estate referral agency, so my business was generating buyer and seller leads for the international real estate market. I didn't know where to start and which real estate marketing channel would work to generate the leads. Like today, many different marketing channels were available back then. So I started researching and found things like Google Ads, Facebook Ads, Craigslist, content marketing, cold calling, direct mailing, 
you name it. It was like today, you could find different sources such as articles, videos and books from teachers who swore by Google Ads, Facebook Ads, Craigslist, blogging, cold calling, etc. I would try Craigslist for a while and with the results, I wouldn't reach my goals. I didn't get enough buyer leads. That was my goal, but rather unserious seller leads. Then for the next teacher, Facebook Ads worked. He would then convince me about this favorite marketing channel and I would try this one too and again fail with the results I got. See how it's the same pattern as in the gym? And no one is to blame to get myself in the situation like that. The different teachers meant well. The different marketing channels may have indeed worked for their individual situations, goals, budgets, timeframes and experience levels. Still the marketing channels these teachers recommended didn't reach the right audience and real estate prospects, sellers or buyers I needed. Didn't align with my monthly marketing budget. Didn't align with my experience level. Didn't align with the buyer's or seller's awareness level I needed, didn't align with my income goal and the time in which I wanted to reach it, didn't align with my daily sweat equity budget or in other words the time available to do the respective marketing work. So they didn't align with my goals, preferences, experience levels and constraints. Like with the training methods in the gym I was always looking for the next best real estate marketing channel. I was led by different influences such as books, articles or videos etc. So at that moment I was asking myself why was I doing that? Sure I wanted results, good quality leads, but there was a deeper reason here. Asking this question it hit me. I had the wrong assumption all along. The assumption was this. When someone supposedly experienced tells me that the XYZ marketing channel works, it must also work for me. Instead, I had to find a more objective and unbiased way of thinking and it became I need to assess my individual situation first, find a viable marketing channel aligned with this situation and then make it work. And assessing your individual situation can mean some serious work. You want to ask yourself questions like what is your annual income goal? When would you like to reach this goal? What is your monthly budget for real estate lead generation? What is your daily sweat equity budget in hours for labor intensive lead gen tasks? For example, content marketing. How many marketing channels would you like to focus your time on? What prospects do you mainly focus on? For example, sellers, buyers, both equally? What is your skill level and experience for each available marketing channel? What is the estimated cost per lead per marketing channel? What can you do with all the answers to these questions? You can bring all the answers together and find out where there is the best overlap, like in a Venn diagram. This approach will increase your chances of finding the best real estate lead chain method that matches with your situation. Sounds like a lot of variables and stuff that you need to bring together, but you can make all this a little bit easier when you use the tool I created exactly for this. Link of the tool in the description below. That's it, thanks for watching and also check out my video about how you can leverage AI for real estate lead generation. Okay, thank you, bye bye, happy holidays.